Be seated. Nazwaith Da, a Kroizoi Gaidi. Good evening and welcome to Cardiff and your 2023 graduation ceremony. I'm Pat Young and I'm the chair of Cardiff University's governing body, the University Council. Over 35 years ago, I sat exactly where you're sitting today, preparing to graduate from Cardiff University. So it's a real privilege to be here today to share and celebrate this momentous occasion with you. May I offer a warm Welsh welcome to family, friends and supporters, and of course to you, the class of 2023. Today we celebrate your extraordinary achievements. Acquiring a university education is no mean feat, so I commend you not only for securing a place at Cardiff University, but also for the dedication and commitment you've demonstrated to get to where you are today. This success is only part of your story. Many of you joined us as the full force of the COVID pandemic was being felt. Others may have been a year or two into their studies. What we and you faced was a challenge on a level not seen since the Second World War. Throughout this difficult period, you, our students, have been quite wonderful. You have shown patience and understanding and a willingness, determination and tenacity to tackle whatever has been put in front of you. For this, you should be extremely proud because everybody at Cardiff University is extremely proud of you. We realise that for some of you the uncertainty continues, but do not forget your ceremony today recognises all of the hard work you've put in and the culmination of your journey with us. You leave here today knowing that you're now part of a very special family, the Cardiff University alumni community. Now, while you've been here, you've been taught by some world-leading scholars and some of the brightest minds on the planet. That's what it says here. Um, no, I'm sure you have. And now it's your turn. Your Cardiff qualification tells the world that you're ambitious, passionate, and have a brilliant mind. Embark on the next stage of your journey with all of the confidence that that brings. For some of you, today may be tinged with sadness as you say goodbye to Cardiff. This vibrant, colourful, and diverse city has been the backdrop to your journey through university. Of course, the charm and character of Cardiff is difficult to give up, and some of you may have already decided to stay and call Cardiff home for the foreseeable future, whether this is through work or further study. Either way, as you cross this stage in a short while and step foot outside the front door of this auditorium, you will be doing so as a Cardiff graduate. Cardiff University will always be your university, so wherever life takes you, we hope that you'll be a flag bearer for this great institution and carry forward our values of kindness and generosity of spirit. We ask only that you stay in touch. You come and visit us often and share your experience of Cardiff University with the wider world. For now, I ask you to sit back, enjoy the ceremony and savour this moment. It's another special memory to add to the collection from your time with us. And your graduation will be something you can fondly look back on in years to come. I now have the pleasure of introducing Hannah Pearce. Hannah will read the proclamation and a poem by Wales's inaugural national poet, Gwyneth Lewis. Many of you will have encountered Gwyneth's work before in the form of the six foot high words thought to be literally the biggest poem in the world, which are on the front of the Wales Millennium Centre. Gwyneth has been writer in residence at the University School of Physics and Astronomy and is now an honorary fellow. The poem, Education, was specially commissioned by Cardiff University and is on the back of your order book.
Education by Gwyneth Lewis. Beidia feidio gwechad o wneud, myna geisio parchad weid. Traws newidiad fydd dy glod, dyddyfodol mentro bod. Learning's a passport that returns you home a better person. It permits you to dare being daring, makes you secure with not knowing everything, helps you welcome some failure, forges an alloy with others' thinking. It is simple delight in mind and its motions, scintillates but isn't deceptive, admits the joy of institutes is the open road to everywhere but bigotry. It's the shortest distance between you and me, and if you're lucky, it never ends. I will now read the proclamation, first in Welsh and then in English. Nerth glad i gwybodaeth. Boid hysbys i holl ei lodau'r brifysgol ac ar hyd a hyd y byd fod cynulliad o brifysgol caerdydd yn cael ei gynnal heddiw yn rhif ddinas Cymru. Wrth ddathlu cyflyniadau rhai sydd yn osbar 2023, fe hatgoffwn o'u cyfrifoldeb i gyfrannu i werthoedd y brifysgol hon. Nod iddynt hwy yw ceisio drwy eu cyflyniadau wasanaethu er lles pawb, ymdrechu i sicrhau rhagoriaeth ym mhob peth ac yn boeni am ddyfodol ein byd. Grandewch yn awchus ar foethineb gan ei fod yn cynnig gobaith a gwirionedd ym mhob cynhedlaeth. Nerth gwlad i gwybodaeth, a nation's strength is in its learning. Let it be known to all members of the university and throughout the world that today in the capital city of Wales, a congregation of Cardiff University is taking place. We celebrate the achievement of those in the class of 2023 and in doing so, remind them of their responsibility to share in the values of this university. It is for them to seek to their achievements, to serve the common good, to strive for excellence in all things, and care for the future of our world. Be attentive to wisdom, for it offers hope and truth in every generation. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Noah Russell, and it's my honour to address you as your Vice President of Education of Cardiff University Students' Union. May your care ever be for the good name of our university and the well-being of our world. When we embarked on our university journey, the years we had ahead seemed like a lifetime. I'm sure most of you would agree that it feels like yesterday that we were dropped off at our halls. Saying goodbye to our friends and family and feeling apprehensive about meeting new people, fitting in and starting our academic journey at Cardiff. But before you know it, you're sat in a, gap, in a cap and gown in St David's Hall, thinking about what the future may have in store. What we didn't know then is that we would be leaving Cardiff having become a member of a close-knit and supportive community. When I sat down to think about what made Cardiff the special university it is, the first thing that came to mind was the community that we've built. This community is like no other. Whether your time at Cardiff has been impacted by competing in a sports team, contributing to a society, overcoming the many barriers of COVID, academic disruptions, and the general hurdles life throws at you, or bonding with your friends on your course, you became a part of a community that shaped your time here, and a community that will, if you allow it, shape your time after Cardiff. Being an alumni of Cardiff University opens you up to a network of fellow Cardiff students, some newly graduated and some who've gone on to achieve great things who can help you do the same. Whether it be by making the most of the rich alumni network Cardiff has to offer, by staying in contact with your friends and peers, or by coming back and visiting the place where you had some of the best times of your life. That community feeling that Cardiff has given you during your time as a student 
doesn't have to end today. It is something that you can take with you wherever you go. When thinking about this speech, a quote stuck out to me. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. And if you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. You being here today is the ultimate proof of that sentiment, the willingness to continue moving forward throughout the good times and the bad. No one could have anticipated the journey that you've all taken to get here, but one thing is for sure, you can be proud that you're sat here graduating as the class of 2023. I hope that you all remember how far you've come, how much you've achieved at Cardiff. It's been a tough journey but for many of you, but together you've not just survived, but you've thrived. So whilst the future may look daunting, remember to take a deep breath, appreciate how far you've come and how far you will go. I hope you will go on to remember the journey that you've had here at Cardiff fondly and keep those memories close to your heart. But most importantly, please remember, you'll always have a home here at Cardiff. Finally, on behalf of the Students' Union, we want to congratulate you for the incredible achievements you're here to celebrate. Have a lovely rest of your week and make sure you finally get some relaxation in. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Damien Wolfe Davis. I'm Deputy Vice Chancellor of Cardiff University, and I'd now like to warmly welcome all students in the class of 2023. And this now is part of the ceremony where the students' names are read out by a senior member of the university. And just a note of advice please do celebrate the achievement of students as they cross this stage. You can clap, you can holler, you can cheer. I think the architecture of this wonderful place will bear some foot stamping as well. So um, last ceremony was pretty good. You can do, I think, much better. Uh, be creative, maybe not too creative. You know what I'm saying. Once all the students for each group have crossed the stage and once they've returned to their seats, I will ask them to stand. And it's at that point in the ceremony that a tradition kicks in for me to speak in Welsh to congratulate each group of graduates for their achievements. And the Welsh form of words, the Welsh formula I'll be using, is Arana Brivoskol, Rinkid Nabur Kerhiviad Gra Flesser Maur, Songavarchiade Li, which means, on behalf of the university, I recognise your achievement with great pleasure. Many congratulations. So watch out for that formula if you would. And now we will proceed with the ceremony. I'm delighted to be here today to present the class of 2023 from the World School of Architecture. It's a highlight in the academic calendar for the school and the university. Over the time that you've been with us, we've had some highs and some lows as we've navigated our way through a pandemic, through industrial action and the day-to-day -day contours of academic life. But what I want to say to you today is that it's been a real privilege to watch you grow into the soon-to-be graduates sitting here right now. So how might we look back on these years? The majority of our graduating students will have experienced either part of or even the whole process of the refurbishment of our building, which has been a really exciting development for our school. And all the changing um, approaches to teaching delivery that have accompanied that and also been made during and after the pandemic. I'd like to acknowledge the extraordinary adaptations you have had to make in your learning along the way. Although it may have been tough at times, the resilience and adaptive skills you will have acquired are transferable skills that will, I hope, stand you in good stead for the future. As you move forward into your careers, there will hopefully be continual opportunities to take on new design challenges uh, and learn new things within the practices or fields that you go into. I hope, however, that you can continue to draw on the foundations acquired through your programmes here, which include ways of thinking, ways of asking questions, ways of building evidence, ways of conducting research, and approaching multiple challenges with sensitivity and care. I've always liked the well-known quote from de designer Eileen Gray, 
which is, quote, to create, one must first question everything. So may you main, remain open to questioning and to possibilities as you go forward into the future. But as you do so from today, know that there will remain opportunities for you to continue to engage with the school. The fact that you're leaving doesn't mean that you lose ties with us. You remain part of our extended school community and we would love to stay in touch with you on your journey. As you cross the stage today, you take our thanks for shaping and enriching our school and the wider university community during your time with us. So thank you, class of 2023. I, Professor Juliet Davis, introduce those for the Diploma of Higher Education for the class of 2023. Asta Voltaire Edo. I, Professor Juliet Davis, introduce those for the degree of Bachelor of Science for Class of 2023. Nube Abasolo Domingo. <laughs> Harrison Anthony Kluwer Adams. Belise Akari. <laughs> Zainab Sami Ali Abdullah Alani. <laughs> Ragad, Ragad Al Hashami. Tara Alizade Irani. <laughs> Noor Al Shukri. <laughs> Natasha Sekalaga Angomwile. Austin. <laughs> Jeffrey Bajay. <laughs> Molly Banjuri. <laughs> William Elliot Baxter. Joshua Gustav Beckfar. <laughs> Isla Renee Behrens. <laughs> Catherine Bennett. <laughs> Ivan Biryokov. Lewis Rufus Faraday Bowman. <laughs> Am Amelia Braby. <laughs> Holly Broadweller. <laughs> Ed
Edward Burton. Toby Andrew Cassie. Amanda Chan. Yan Yan Carol Chang. Androniki Paralambos. Patrick Edward Clarkson. Finley Corlett. Edward Darlington. Bethan Davies. Deng Nuo. Elodie Jane Donald. Emily Lucy Jones Downs. Ren Mary Lauren Ed Edgar. Lassine El Yaman. Daniel Enriquez. Luke Joseph Everest. Isha Fatima. Nia Mare Ferris. Baha Feruzi Far. Elliot Edward Follows. Yuge Gao. Eleni Gotsaridi. Oscar Gorka. Vidika Goyal. Rebecca Catherine Halford. Ludian Harapaj. Francis Tess Harland. Bria Harrison Mendes. Libby Rose Hyatt. Piotr Hadish. Elizabeth Rose Hillier. Mai Huang Ngok. Daniel James Holman. Fionn May Hopkins. Cynthia Hua. Denny Ignatova. Suad Ismail. Amelia Jessup. Dylan Jones. Tristan Arwell Jones. Uh, Nojos Kaliauskas. <laughs> Andreas Kallis. <laughs> Snigda Kurana.
Jacob Kite. Saba Kochorapov. Annie Kostadinova. Oluwatobi Ladipo. Christy Lam. Lao King Tin Carl. Yuzhuan Li. Aisha Lord. Finn Lauder. Andreas. Maxi ba ba Vicious <laughs> Martina Marengo <laughs> Patricia Joyce Marquina <laughs> Dolly Marshall Stevens <laughs> Mark Gabriel Masanke Megan McCormick, Lucy McGregor, Arifa Elena Binti Arifin, Ekta Mashia, Shun Yik Mo. Zach Netley, <laughs> Nelia Ning Hing Chung, <laughs> James Nightingale, <laughs> Berenice Norman Bove. <laughs> Hassab. El Rasul Mohammed Omar, <laughs> Iona Pachni, <laughs> Anthony Troy Veloso Panganiban, <laughs> Yin He Felix Pun. Sean Powell, <laughs> Elizabeth Rand, <laughs> Mayan Lauren Rubb, <laughs> India Lily Salt Cowell, <laughs> Agnes Jian. Rebecca Schreiter, <laughs> Gustav Sedin, <laughs> Robert Shah, <laughs> Tom Sharp, <laughs> Aisha Shazad. Jane Spearman, yeah. Eloise Hannah Squire, yeah. Jordan Luke Starr, yeah. Benjamin Tava. Lucas Thies, (Applause) 
Yat Hey Isabel Tsoi. Ellen Harris Tullett. Kira Vanden Moisenberg. Uh, Petra Tina Vasilash. Jingye Wang. Yiren Wang. Sange Dorgi Wan Chuk. Emily Kate Watt. Nicoletta Fiensek. Daniel Williams. Archie William Winstone Partridge. Yuji Jin. Ling Fan Zhu. Tai Gu Wang Yang. Yao Hang Hai Napoleon. Eli Zheng Yang Yip. Bridget Yu Wing Ching. Richie Zhang. Shi Shu Yi Zhao. I, Professor Juliet Davis, introduce those for the degree of Master of Architecture for the class of 2023. Eleni Alexandro. John Arda. Jude Bagain. Nikita Benjamin. Mikhail Bradinov. Luke Selinski. Jacob Conroy. Aaron Kuhn. Senia Davidova. Edward Draycott. Harrian Marie Edwards. Fidelia Florentia. Susanna Foster. Julia Garnello Gutierrez. Oliver Gaston. Timothy Gwilt. Philip George Hawkins. Elizabeth Harriet Monica Hyam. Man Hin Ho. Ad Adam James Hogan. Oliver Thomas Howard. Dufford John Hughes. Simon Hughes. Catherine Jex. 
Priyansha Damesh Kamdar. Gemma Kitely. Megan Jennifer King. Alexandra Agnieszka Konopka. Namina Mohamedova. Jennifer Marit. James Andrew John Miller. Aina Fazani Binti Mohammed Fadzil. Kirtuna Nair. Jo Yi Um. Anna Pavlu. James Pope. Mike Rizzo. Idana Roberts. Reha Shah. Sung Zhijian. Jordan Stevens. Morgan Reese Taylor. Daniel Thompson. Carlis Thompsons. Kate Anna Irwin. Uh, Kalina Rachanska. Jake Samuel Warren. James Westwood. Libby Grace Williams. George Wood. My name is Professor Jill Bristow. I'm delighted to be here as head of school today to present the class of 2023 from the School of Geography and Planning. Graduation is always a highlight event for us. It marks the culmination of several years of hard work and a chance to celebrate all you've achieved. But it's even more of a highlight this year because of the challenging times we, we faced over the last few years. Because of these challenges, we think you should be especially proud of what you've achieved. And we think you're quite remarkable. Well done. We've really enjoyed getting to know you and being part of your journey, especially over the past year when we've been able to better connect with each other. There are lots of things that stand out as highlights. We valued the way that you've engaged with us through providing suggestions and feedback on your teaching and learning. Lots of surveys, thank you. We've really appreciated the enthusiasm you've shown for being part of our school community through key events like the ball and through sporting and other social and employability related activities that you've helped to organise. This year, a particular highlight has been the field study visits to places like South Africa, Los Angeles and New Orleans. We hope that these trips have broadened your horizons and challenged your thinking. 
We hope they've brought your studies to life by enabling you to see firsthand some of the key challenges facing places today. We hope that through your studies and time with us, you've made lifelong friends, had experiences that will make you smile for years to come, and have forged skills that you'll make good use of for the rest of your life. We've been inspired by you and your commitment to our values, to our shared desire to shape places for more sustainable, just and inclusive futures. Now we're delighted to see you go out into the world and make a positive impact on the places in which you'll live and work. So, heartfelt congratulations on your tremendous achievements. Good luck for your future ventures and thank you, Class of 2023. I, Professor Jill Bristow, introduce those for the degree of Bachelor of Science for the Class of 2023. Laura Alfie. <laughs> Anna Allen Jones. <laughs> Ella Nicole Bateman. Matthew Peter Beale. Claire Angela Bolton. Alexandra Bottoms. Joshua Bolton. Megan Brad. Jemima Brett. Finn Broderick. Felicity Brown. Albert Bryant. Ross Bryant. Josie Butterfield, Grace Camden, Nell Carlisle, Beth Carter, Olivia Casey, Tomash Chadwick. Anna Chamberlain, <laughs> Emily Chambers, <laughs> Aaron Chan, <laughs> Chung Xing Wei, <laughs> Meda Chetri. Rosanna Chitty, <laughs> Ria Chowdhury, James Codd, <laughs> Lauren Coleman, Cavan <laughs> Collins, <laughs> Olivia Condy. Alexander Cook, Robin Cooper, Simran Dadria, Lucy Davidson, Millie Dawson. Kerry Dyson, Isabella Evans, Emily Eyre, 
Anna Fahi. Nicole Farrell. Catherine Forbes. Lydia Shoyen Forty. William Ghent. Holly Goulding. Archie Grant. Dougal Gray. David Gwillim. Aaron Haig. Samuel Hallam. Edie Halstead. James Hannon. Chris Hatton. Travis Hazelwood. Heather Houlihan. Gwydion Rhys Howells. Iona Howells. Madison Hutchinson. Freya Ingham. Louis Jones. Lowry Jones. Neris Jones. Asya Kilinchan. Elena Lear. King Long Lung. Lee Damien Tickman. Tobias Link Jones. Charlotte Loder. Rory McKinnon. Millicent McLeod. Ria Majithia. Samuel March. Phoebe Matteson. James McCammon. Jadine Mecky. Owen Smith. Charlotte Moffat. Molly Malloy. Olivia Moulton. Alice Morgan. Yestin Morgan. Ethan Morris. William Morris. Alexander Murray. Maduri Naya. Aidan Narimore. James Nelligan. Amelia Nicholas. Ayumide Oluwoli Oni. Ruby Omani. Andrea Orellano. Marnie Osler. Ella Payne. Daisy Peterson. Hector Pocock. 
Poppy Pope. Alice Powell. Matthew Pring. Morgan Pritchard. Lewis Rees. Alexander Reeve. Joseph Richardson. Bethany Roberts. Elliot Ross. Alberto Santa Maria Varela. Danielle Scarsbrook. <laughs> Louise Searle. <laughs> Thomas Savini. <laughs> Maya Shaw Thornley. <laughs> Kevin Smart. <laughs> Shannon Stone. Anthony Storkey. James Stubbs. Ethan Summerwell. Chungman Newman Tai. Matthew Thompson. Jessica Tyler. William Upton, Samuel Wakefield, Rebecca Wallace, Gabriel Whedon, Eloise White, Harry Whitlow. Tobias Xavier de la Vega Wickham. <laughs> Hannah Wilde. <laughs> Ollie Williams. <laughs> Samuel Williams. <laughs> Edward Winkle. <laughs> India Yardley. Winky Yip. <laughs> Alika Thara Yusuf. <laughs> the Deputy Vice Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. So, would all the students who have just crossed the stage please stand if you're able to? Ar an abri rysgol, rwy'n cydnabod a chyrhaeddiad chi gyda phleser mawr, llong y fyrchiadau li. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I think that's the loudest yet. Architecture and geography and planning. Okay, clock that for the future. Have a seat. Thank you.
I, Professor Rudolf Allemann, introduce those for the postgraduate diploma for the class of 2023. Ahmad Majd Al Kadri. Florence Bell. Hugo Billington. Oliver Virtual. Chao Chea. Eleni Chinchalse. Sophia Clara Che. Ruben Andre da Silva Santos. Jose Fastillo Stamtsas. Jack Harry Doody. <laughs> Helen Flynn. <laughs> Lauren Honey. <laughs> Madeline Howell. <laughs> Isolda Kiss. <laughs> Rebecca Jean Mayo. Nancy Lewis Mills, Sarah Noble, Catherine Parsons, Miraf Pippin Patel, Parisha Patel, Ainsley Poos. Jennifer Wagstaff, Jack Whitehead, Chi Shu, I, Professor Rudolf Allemann, introduce those for the degree of Master of Arts for class of 2023. Shahad Almanea. Ayamide Bamishai. Christopher Brimble. Limeng Chen. Siyu Chen. Wangi <laughs> Ke. Hui Min Hao. Inesa Kavatapu. <laughs> Devanchi Kant. <laughs> Fung Si Chen. <laughs> Dong Shun Hyunan. <laughs> Ying Ting Li. <laughs> Ying Fan Lu. Rhea McIntyre. <laughs> Amira Magdi El Hanafi. <laughs> Shiva Malhotra. <laughs> Ishwaraya Rashes Pillai. <laughs> Kaya Rachora. <laughs> Shubangi Rachu. Indravan Suvanto. <laughs> Minda Chan. <laughs> Radostina Torova. <laughs> Takus Tarin. <laughs> Shun Rui Wang. <laughs> Shu Siru. Professor Rudolf Allemann introduced those for the degree of Master of Design Administration for class of 2023. Haya Makti El Said Mohammed. 
Simon Peter Ochula. I, Professor Rudolf Allemann, introduce those for the degree of Master of Science for Class of 2023. Ahmed Abdilai Abdi. <laughs> Dival Vashiali Liesh Ambari. <laughs> Barak Albanai. <laughs> Oluwa Femi. Akin Deley. Ashina Anand. Shubankar Avekar. Finn Nandar Aum. John Michael Austin. Ella Baker, Marcus Bayonu Martinez, Farouk Ululaidai Bello, Gwenlian Anes Bell Reni, Matthew Bix. Freya Hanna Bowen. <laughs> Dorsa Borucher Tifard. <laughs> Tom Braithwaite. <laughs> Matthew Broughton. <laughs> Oliver Browning. Andrew James Burton. <laughs> Arsu Chetinkaya. <laughs> Darshan Haresh Chavan. <laughs> Mu Cheng. <laughs> Amy Childer. David Robert Conway. Alex Copsey. Benjamin Crook. Hannah Daniels. Daisy Delahai. Cyan Tate. Elisa May Dubry, <laughs> Sophie Duncan, <laughs> Jack Anthony Doyle, <laughs> Kate Drury, <laughs> Alison Stephanie Ann Dury. Omar Ekbal, <laughs> Elliot Evans, <laughs> Elspeth Faulkner, <laughs> Elise Ferdinando, <laughs> Sophie Isla Ferguson, <laughs> Kieran Flanagan. Bethany Francis. <laughs> Rhiannon Betty Freshney. <laughs> Chitonga Helen. <laughs> Dion Goodlin. <laughs> Emma Grant. Tishin Duo, Geraint Trees Harcom, Poppy Imogen Herald, Edward Hill, 
Francis Holmes, Leo Horton Taylor, Shin Hu, Siak Venon Hako, Stephen Hughes, Chitranshi Chadon. Luke Chehu, Claire Ann Jones, Owen Reese Jones, Peru Chehi Keneobi, Kieran Declan Cohain. Alina Khan, <laughs> Union Co, <laughs> Ruchira Konahi, <laughs> Kang Koko Kiang, <laughs> Wing Shan Lai, <laughs> Eleanor Leach. Lee Hin Fan, Gemma Lester, Marianne Win Lewis, Jali Lee, Lee Shan Shan. Katie Jane Lloyd, <laughs> Catherine Mary Lodge, <laughs> Wenjen Lu, <laughs> Eve Hannah McIntosh, <laughs> Mahas Mangal, <laughs> and Anisha Ann Matthew, <laughs> Laurie McKenzie, <laughs> Kieran McLennigan, <laughs> Sophie, Fionn Sophie Middleton, <laughs> Shahid Mohammed. Sri Ganesh Kumar Mohan Kumar, Joseph Morgan, Hannah Lisa Morris, Vinola Natamai Ekanathan, Yuet Young Rachel Wu. Jessica Daisy Osborne, <laughs> Chehe Pang, Daniel Peacock, Zelda Purali Pesat, Lucy Pugh. Hassan Raza, John Charles Robertson, Deepak Kumar Sadwani, Shweta Salnaka, Suruti Samuel. Kirsty Selwood, <laughs> Jessica Emily Sharp, <laughs> Florence Madeleine Shusha, <laughs> Ed Small, <laughs> Diane Smith. 
Prem Kumar Solai Sami. Lucy Arden Such. Alexander James Sunderland Bragg. Dora Salkai. Aida Taimuri. Megan Thomas. Rose Ann Thomas. Rianne Tilly. No Kai Sang. Joey Tua Hill Xing. Chu Kai Su. Anushka Verma. Madalena Voitu. Bethan Molly Walton. Freya Ward. Paris Hendricks Lestat Valentino Ward. Matthew James Wilkins. Natalie Grace Williams. Nia Williams. Rutik Yanpure. Ellen Yeo. Yushuan Chu. The Deputy Vice Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. I think, en masse, that was some of the best doffing I have ever seen. Um, there was, um, it was pared down, it was classy, it was economical. Less is more. Well done. Would you, all the students who have just crossed the stage please stand if you're able to? Ar an y brif ysgol, rwy'n cydnabod eich cyrhaeddiad gyda phleser mawr, llong gyfarchiadau li. Congratulations. Architecture and Geography of Planning, we have to get you back next year. Will you please have a seat? Thank you. The following students to be presented have achieved a doctoral degree, and in recognition of their achievements and research, they will be presented to the presiding officers who will doff in return. I, Professor Rudolf Alam, introduce those who have received the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Noah Getsemana Akimenia. Abdul Rahman Ahmed Alimani. (laughs) 
Annie Bellamy. Leo Chow. Daniela Defex Wolf. Mohamed Tigali. Juan Pablo Fernandez Goicolea. Hameda Chennai. Ahmad Kotbi. Anas Mustafa Hosni Lila. All in. Alicia Namat Vasquez. Simon Power. Pam Louis. Diana Waldron. The Deputy Vice Chancellor will now confer the award. Would all the students who have just crossed the stage please stand if you're able to? Brifysgol rwy'n cydnabod eich cyrheiddiad gyda phleser mawr, llong gyfarchiadau lu. Congratulations. Professor Juliette Davis introduced those who have received the posthumous degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Noridayu Binti Ahmad Yusuf. So I have a few words of remembrance for Ayu that have been written by one of her supervisors, Emeritus Professor Stephen Kite, which I'm going to read to you now. I have many fond memories of Ayu. I recall encountering her by chance on a sunny day in the center of Cardiff with one of her fine young sons, soon after her return to her studies. She looked so relaxed and happy, overjoyed to be back to her research here in Cardiff and to have her sons with her also. Tutorials with Ayu were always a pleasure as she approached her important research with such natural curiosity, enthusiasm, and commitment. She was also a fine draftswoman and photographer. As an example of the latter and her commitment to the activities of the postgraduate community, I remember her delight when she won a prize in a university-wide postgraduate photogra photographic competition. She had many friends in this postgraduate community where she was highly regarded 
and very active in contributing to the spectrum of academic, social and research life, to seminars, to conferences and so on. I am so pleased that despite her advanced illness, she was able to complete her chapter contribution on the patterns and places of Muslim Malay marketplaces to our conference book on generosity and architecture, edited by my colleagues Mari McVicker and Charles Drozinski, which was published this year. We dedicated this book in fond memory to Ayu as a memorial to her fine scholarship and as some indication of what she would have gone on to achieve had she been able to continue her intended career of research and teaching. She herself embodied so strongly these qualities of generosity in her beaming and radiant presence, her love of life, her work, her family, and her many friends and colleagues. So we'll, we'll now just take a pause for a moment's silence to remember Ayu. We come to the part of the ceremony which welcomes distinguished people who have previously sat in your seat, our alumni speakers. Today's alumni speaker is Philip Hoare. Philip Hoare is a proud graduate of Cardiff University's School of Engineering. A chartered civil engineer by profession, Philip has gone on to become the president of Atkins, a world-leading design, engineering and project management consultancy. Atkins was founded to transform infrastructure and deliver better and more sustainable environments for everyone. And Philip is dedicated to this cause, as well as the people who make this happen at Atkins. He is passionate about STEM and early career development. He champions and supports gender equality in the workplace and leads diversity and inclusion work across the UK and Europe. He is a highly respected leader, having worked on behalf of the UK government, supporting their industrial strategy. We are very fortunate to have Philip with us today to share some congratulatory words with you. Please welcome Philip Hall. Thank you. Prin Horn Da to the graduates of 2023 and uh, congratulations again. Um, it's been fantastic to see everybody's smiling faces as you've walked up and uh, and, you know, as, as a, an employer of an organisation with lots of people who do planning and architecture, if you could just keep that whooping and hollering going through your career, um, that would be fantastic as well. So I'd love to see that. Um, look, it's really a great privilege to be here talking to you as you ready yourselves for the next challenge, the next chapter of your lives, and the next set of opportunities that you'll seize. I could never have imagined um, almost 30 years ago to the day um, the opportunities that I would have, and importantly, the choices that I would have to make along the way. What an achievement to be graduating today, not just for your academic success, but as many others have said, for the resilience that you've shown in getting to this point, given all the disruption that the COVID-19 pandemic had on both your studies and university experience. With my oldest daughter, Chloe, just about to start her second year at Cardiff reading psychology, I've seen just how, just firsthand actually, how tough that has been and how resilient you have had to be. Now, now a small note to all of you, right? So your Cardiff experience never ever leaves you. I absolutely love Cardiff. And, um, and I look back on the amazing memories that uh, my time here created for me. You know, whether it's the great friends that you've made, whether it's the city, even the cheap beer in the taff, you know, you will have, I think, and look back with pride and happiness for the rest of your lives. And so it was all, 
it was really amazing for me and amazing how much it tugged on the heartstrings when my daughter Chloe told me that she wanted to study at Cardiff. So definitely a very proud dad moment and uh, lots of proud mum and dad and parents moments here today as well, I think. But, but back to resilience. The lessons that you've learned and the skills you have developed are something that you'll carry with you throughout your careers. In fact, resilience is a trait that a lot of us, including our planet, need now more than ever. The degrees you've studied and the disciplines you've chosen means you're undoubtedly more aware than most of some of the big challenges we face in society, both right now and over the course of the next few decades. Challenges like responding and adapting to climate change, harnessing the power of new and emerging technologies, building a more resilient, sustainable economy, managing growing urban populations and rising inequality, and transforming almost every aspect of our built environment as we do so. What on earth are you going to do after breakfast? It's a daunting prospect, both tackling these challenges and the consequences of not doing so, which are far more severe than many generations of graduates before you have faced. But it means that those of you in this room will have an incredibly important role to play in your careers. During my time at Atkins, we've always been very clear on our purpose. We know we need to focus our energies on engineering a better future for our planet and its people. The work that we do, much like the subjects you've studied and projects you've tackled in your degrees, has significant and tangible impact on the world around us, whether that's creating a new city master plan that connects people whilst maximising sustainability, or responding to the need for new clean energy sources, or developing new solutions that help communities to be more resilient to the ravages of climate change, or creating affordable housing solutions that allow families to return to our city centres, or even designing the world's tallest, fastest roller coaster in the middle of a futuristic theme park that allows family and friends precious time to spend together. The possibilities to make change happen are limitless, and our role in making this happen is both a privilege and a huge responsibility. Your chosen fields mean that your career may well be shaped around those exact goals, tackling these big challenges, but in a way that makes a difference at a local level too. But that mission, that overarching purpose, doesn't mean you only have one direction of uh, travel. Because the other point that I'd like to make today and impress on you is that not only do you have the skills and knowledge to help society to navigate its way through most of these challenges, but you also have an enormous world of possibilities in front of you right now. The desire to learn, which I'm sure you all possess, is a precious commodity even if right now you felt you spent enough time stuck in a virtual or physical classroom to quash it, please don't let the desire to learn and to improve slip away from you. Because some of those possible pathways will only be unlocked if you retain that keenness for knowledge, that desire to be curious. I feel very lucky that in my career I've had so many opportunities and I've always pushed myself to grab them whenever the opportunity arose or even when it didn't. My mum has always said to me that if you don't ask, you don't get. And it's an adage that I have lived by and one that has served me well. In any role or project where you think you have taken all the learning that you can from it, then it's time to move on to the next challenge. This approach has seen me with a varied and super interesting career in both technical and leadership roles. And I've had the opportunity to travel the world and work on some of the most amazing projects that really made a difference to the communities that I serve. I feel really excited about the future that lies ahead of us, the infrastructure that will develop, the boundaries we'll push through both with technology and design, the social value that we'll unlock in the built environment, and the imperative that we have to create a new net zero society, and ultimately the way that we'll connect people, data and technology in a way that's never been done before. If you retain that curiosity, that, design to know more, that desire to know more and to think differently, and combine it with the foundations that you've built over these last few years, then you'll build a career and a life that serves that wider purpose in a way that is both deeply rewarding and uniquely yours. So never look back, always look forward. As I say to my four children and all the thousands of graduates that have joined Atkins over the years, PMA, a positive mental attitude and a smile like we've seen today go a long way to supplement a great education. So congratulations to all of you graduating today, and I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you.
Thank you, Philip, for not just reminding us to keep a positive mental attitude, but also the challenges and opportunities which lie ahead of all of you as you leave here today. So congratulations, you are now part of the Cardiff University alumni community of over 210,000 graduates. Cardiff alumni are great global citizens. Some are activists and have high profiles. Others are quiet, solid contributors to their communities. Cardiff will have given you more than just a degree. You've been encouraged to ask questions and challenge conventional wisdom. You've shown willingness, determination and spirit, which are the real hallmarks of a Cardiff graduate. The Welsh word hiraith is made for moments like this. It conveys a sense of place, of love, of longing, of memories. And we hope you'll keep hiraith in your hearts for Cardiff University. Before we close the ceremony, there is one last Cardiff University tradition we need to uphold. Because whilst today is all about your achievement, it isn't something that you've done on your own. You've been supported all the way by your family and friends and supporters throughout your degree. So now, can I ask all of the new graduates to stand, if you're able. Everyone in the hall, all the way up in the rafters up there, made a great deal of noise for you. Now it's your turn to show how much you thank them for what they've done by making a great deal of noise for them. Okay, can I speak honestly to you as alumni to alumni now? That was a bit rubbish. <laughs> if that was a planning application, it would have failed. Some guys over there got the, got the idea right towards the end. I didn't hear anybody, as you heard, banging on the walls. I didn't hear any feet stamping. I didn't hear any whistles. So please, can you give it up for the people that supported you on your journey? Thank you for the wolf whistles. That was much more like it. Please take your seats. So now we come to the close of our celebrations and there'll be a film welcoming, welcoming you to the Cardiff University alumni family. Enjoy it. And at the end of the film, please stand as the platform party leaves and the ceremony draws to a close. Thank you for joining us today. And congratulations once again to the class of 2023. Diokon Varian. Take a look around you. Be well or key, what do you see? Class of 2023. Today we take stock of everything we've achieved and say thank you to those who always believed. So scroll through memories, come to selfies, get our besties, and stand up straight for the photographer. Say cheers. Today we remember how we got this far. The late nights and bright lights. And moments we didn't do as well as we might. Hold the viad kai, devil bad hai. Or wake yon galed, ir dakliadai. Today we're rewarded for all the hard work. This started way back with the first steps we took. Dropped at Taliban, Sing Henid, Abadir, and Abu Conway. Igamo of Freshers, Hib Weaver Shavings, Hib Nabot Hobin, Nes Candles Trinjai Hoys, and Nadia Wolf Katine. First dates? Soulmates. I'm gonna start crying at this rate. Today we're part of something that's hard to describe the new class of an old tribe. A tradition that'll be there our whole lives. 
a network that continues to help us thrive. Years from now, we'll see someone with a badge on their tie, or hear people on a bus shouting, Cheers, drive. And we'll remember where we came from, where we came into our own, where we made our mark. Can God capture where we found a home? Today we make noise like it's the varsity game and count ourselves lucky we found people with the same interests, hobbies, be it our full modernist or new folly. People who tried to shelter us with broken brollies. People who helped us find our limits and push them out of the way. People who helped us get to this point. On this day. Today is a day we mark everything we've shared. A day we tell people just how much we cared. That they were always there, even when they couldn't be. Rather than we bother day I at our high level for all the long hours we've had to put in. We still had those nights that went right through till dawn, and days we dug deeper than ever before. So here's to those late night revisers and early risers, to sunny days that passed by in View Park, to that special someone who gave us that special spark and helped us to grow, to transform, to dream. Today's for that someone we're proud to have that in team. What happens tomorrow is whatever you choose. Go make news or break news that absolutely refuse to be told that can't be done because we've only just begun to make records and break records and make history and break history and say The mother me the This is the world I want to see. 10, 20, 3 days, 40. Years from now, you'll look back on today and realize you've been by your side the whole way. But right now, right here, let's save you the moment and say, Congratulations. Let's get the celebrations underway. Take a moment, look around you. Be well, what do you see? We're Cardiff University. Welcome to your alumni community.